Hi and welcome back to our course on cloud computing. Today as part of the lab exercises, we'll cover Bitnami by VMware. Now Bitnami makes it easy for you to install any uh, of your favorite open source softwares on your computers. They have pre-built uh, images of the applications that we would like to install um, for VMware, for Microsoft Azure services, for uh, Amazon Web Services, etc. So you don't need to worry about the configuration and overall security of the applications. They have already created the images which can be deployed easily on your platform. Now, in order to check it, there are different applications on it. You can click on this uh, um, um, Bitnami application catalog. And if you'll click on it, it would open where you'll be able to choose that if you are going for a single tier or a multi tier or if you are going for a Docker or a virtual machine. So all those images which you can see over here are pre-configured images that you can simply install it on your platform. For example, if I'm going for Joomla over here, I'll click on it and you can see that launch uh, um, the cloud. You can deploy the Joomla package by Bitnami in any of the following cloud providers. So it is already configured and ready uh, in the format which is acceptable by Google, by Amazon and by Azure. If not that, if you want to have a virtual machine of it, click on this virtual machine and it would give you an option to download this virtual machine. It's even telling the exact version of it. Joomla package and then the 64-bit version 650 MB and you can even download it uh, from here. Now there are some instructions if you want to read that how can you get the username and password for this one. They are giving some instructions for that and um, if you click on this one also it would download the file which is of 650 MB. Now in order to run it, you need to install Oracle VirtualBox that you can see over here. You'll uh, That's a free version from Oracle by the way. You can easily install any virtual machines using VirtualBox. Then go, go to Downloads and download the variant of VirtualBox which is required as per your operating system. Since we are trying it on Windows, so we'll, try, we'll take Windows host from here. Now, once that's done, you can see that I have already installed it on my computer. And last time we learned how can we install own cloud uh, and we can set up our own cloud today. Today we are installing Joomla on our virtual box. So in order to install it on this one, since we have downloaded it, so we'll have to click import and then we'll select the file that we have downloaded. As you can see, I have selected the file. You'll press next. And then it's just telling you the basic configuration of the virtual machine which would be created. I'll not change anything at the moment. I'll press finish. Now once you'll press finish, you'll have to wait for this appliance to be imported in your virtual box before you can make any modifications to the virtual machine. Now it really depends if you want to change the settings on this one or not. Just for the sake of understanding, I'm just changing few settings on this one. And in order to change that, you'll click on settings over here. And then you'll go to system. As you can see, it has allocated only 512 MB of RAM. So I'll increase it to 2 GB. And for the processor, it is uh, uh, at the moment at one CPU. I'll add another CPU to this one. But if you'll notice, it's saying that invalid settings detected and it is saying that the settings for the display adapter are set to less than 9 MB. So in order to fix that, we'll go to display and we'll increase it to somewhere around uh, 30 MB. And you can see that the error message disappeared from here. Now we'll simply start the virtual machine. Now that would install the uh, instance of uh, Bitnami Joomla on the computer itself. Once it's installed, I'll show you that how can we check the uh, reachability from the host computer to this virtual machine just to make sure that now the uh, guys on the network will be able to see your virtual machine on the network. Now, as you can see, it's a very fast process. It does not take a lot of time. And you can see a username and password which is shown up here. But in order to check the connectivity from the host machine, we'll go to the command prompt of the host machine and we'll try to ping this IP address which is shown over here. So we'll type ping 
1.8.157 and as you can see that our host machine can see this virtual machine now in order to check it on the machine uh, which is from the host machine to this installation we'll go to the browser and uh, we'll try to enter the same ip address which is shown up here which is 192.168.8.157 and uh, as you can see it has loaded the website which is joomla default page and you can recognize it by the logo of joomla now if you want to go to the administrator site or uh, administrator view of the site we'll type in administrator over here and press enter so you'll be able to see the administrator interface of the website now on the installation screen, it is showing you a username and password, which is a default username and password. You can either enter it over here. It would prompt you to change the password. You can do that. If not, you can simply log in to this site using the same username and password, which is shown up here, which is user. We'll enter the user over here. And for the password, we'll enter the same password, which would be accepted. And then we can change the password. So. Uh, since it's easy to uh, backspace and delete the password and try a new password over here as compared to the command prompt so I'll try to change the password or I'll try to log in using the same uh, username and password which is shown up here on the uh, administrator view of Joomla so as you can see this is my username and password so I'll type in user and I'll type the password which is shown up here as you can see and press login so now we are logged in to our uh, installed joomla which is accessible from the host machine and the installation is actual on virtualbox now uh, there are a couple of uh, uh, warnings and some messages for you you can read it if you want, if you agree with that you can accept that if you want to change the password for the uh, user account you'll go to edit user account and then you can see that there's a super user account which is the top level of account we can say it as a root account as well username is appearing so we'll try to enter a difficult password and as you can see it has accepted it so and then we'll simply click on save and close so now we have changed the password and in order to check the password we log out and we'll try to log in with the new password and as you can see we are logged in using the name uh, the new username and password now uh, on the main page as you can see there is nothing at the moment now we need to change some interface of this one and that's the beauty of content management systems that you'll make the changes from the administrator interface of it and it would be reflected to the users um, you don't need any programming skills you don't need any uh, database administration skills as far as uh, um, this thing is concerned all you should be concerned about that how can you best utilize this admin interface of it now just to show you as an example the basic thing on this one how can you add articles to your uh, to your uh, Joomla page or how can you add pages just like on a normal page so in order to add articles we can either click it from here or you'll go to content and click on articles over there so I'll click it now there are no articles so far it's saying to create an article so uh, you'll add your first article and in the first article uh, you can see that this is a complete interface where you can type in text, you can uh, add different media, uh, menu items, etc. It's a normal uh, um, a editing interface just like you see in any uh, editing uh, uh, software. Now here I'll say welcome to my first site and uh, then I'll maybe uh, make it bold or uh, make it italic or I'll just uh, have it as heading number three here you can see the status of it if you want to publish it or you want to unpublish it or you want to archive it etc categories since we haven't defined any so I'll keep it as it is and featured item is the one which should appear on the main page so I'll check it if you want to add any pictures you'll click on this one and you can add the pictures just like you add it in the uh, attachments on any uh, emails as well 
and uh, rest of the settings are entirely up to you how you want to change it about the publishing uh, when it should be available and when you want to show it to the users um, configure the edit screens and you should have access to this page now uh, before saving this page so i'll give it a title for example i'll say main page on the uh, uh, main page where it would be appearing if you want you can have an alias of it if you don't that's entirely up to you and i'll simply save and close now once i'll save and close you can see that now this article status is published and it's current and it's even showing you the number of hits and when the document was created now if you want to see the actual effect of it as you can see that that was our main interface of it and if i'll refresh it now you can see the uh, item appeared over here on main page it's saying that welcome to my first site and it's even uh, showing that who wrote the article what's the category of is when it was published and how many views it had so far so that's how we actually manage um, the overall uh, pages and the content that is posted on Joomla now another interesting thing in this one is that if you want to add any sort of plugins you can select it from here you can enable it and you can even install new plugins on this one which are available on uh, Joomla plugins directory further if you want to install any modules or extensions you can install them from the system and from the extension manager now if i want to change the template of the website as you can see there is only one template available over here but if i want to change the entire interface of the website there are websites like Joomla Art, etc., from where you can purchase the templates and you can simply import it and it would change the entire interface of the website. So, if you want to check it, for example, this is the current interface of the website. And if I want to install a template on this one, I'll go to my system, then I'll go to extensions and I'll select the template that I would uh, uh, like to install from install extensions then I'll select the extension from here browse it and for example I have downloaded one and uh, I'll select this one as theme it would install as you can see it has been installed um, if you want to check that how would it look like so you'll go to system again and then you'll click on site templates and you'll click on this uh, template which is available over here and there is a button over here called template preview so if you'll see this is the new interface of the website so just by installing and selecting the right template you can easily uh, change the interface of the entire website now for example if you're not happy with the overall interface of the website and you want to change it back to its original interface uh, so for that we'll go to the administrator part of it again and then we'll click on systems we'll go to extensions and here we'll search for theme since the name of the extension was theme and we'll select it from here and simply click install so that extension would be installed from the system you can check it by going to the site templates and now there is only one template available over here so that's the basic interface and the usage of Joomla as a content management system. The main benefit of using um, Bitnami is that we can download the latest versions of it. As you can see, it is updated one day ago and you can install a complete platform, which is a content management system quite easily on your own premises. That's it for today. Thank you very much.